As a creative or design professional, you know that file resolution matters. Most creatives don't realize that Midjourney's 1024 by 1024 output at 72 DPI isn't just inadequate. If you're not careful, it can really sabotage professional work. So let me show you what I mean. Here's a typical Midjourney output. It looks great at first glance, right? But when we zoom in a little bit, you can see the pixelated edges. This won't matter much if you're doing web-based work, but if you wanna use this in print, that dog won't hunt. You need a better file. Midjourney does have a built-in upscale mode and that works, but only so far. So here's a comparison. Here's the original close-up of that angel. And here's an upscale subtle with the same zoom in, okay? And the, the original is 1024 by 1024 at 72 pixels per inch. And the upscale, of course, is 2048 by 2048, also at 72. Those are good results, but there's actually a better way to get better resolution images. And you might have missed this. If you're a professional creative who needs better resolution for your mid work, I'm going to show you your new favorite tool. And this is Gigapixel. So here's the affiliate link. And I would love it if you would support me by using this. If you actually get Gigapixel, we're going to show how it works. But the link is in the description if you simply want to click. And let me tell you, my friend, this is the best $99 you'll ever spend in your life. And this software also works in six languages. So if you're not English speaking, this is perfect for you. Right. So, but for now, let me show you exactly why resolution is a make or break for professional creative work. So what is resolution anyway? I'm sure as a pro, you know this, but I wanna go over it just to make sure everybody's covered. So pixels are the smallest units of any image. And more pixels you have, the more detail you're gonna get in your final image. So when we zoom in, you can see all those jaggedy edges. It looks kind of like a stair step, right? That's pixelation, and that's caused by the lack of resolution. And Midjourney's default output, let's say it's a square, you know, one to one aspect ratio, again is 1024 by 1024 at 72 DPI. Looks great when you're, you know, using something for the web, but if you're trying to print anything, that just doesn't hold up. And even a 2048 version still can break down a little bit under some scrutiny. So there's a better way and I wanna show you that. So let's compare to what you actually need for professional work, right? So 300 DPI is basically the default necessary resolution for crisp printing. And let's say you're printing a poster and you design this image of Frankenstein here and you're gonna add logos and type and a bunch of stuff to it, right? So here's the zoom in image of Frankie's eye and nose from the original Midjourney art. And you can see some of that pixelation, right? And then here's the same image when we enlarge it four times using Gigapixel. And you can see it really cleans it up. So when resolution matters, Gigapixel is your new best friend and here it is even larger so you can compare. I want you to look at the original on the left and the upscaled four times version on the right and tell me which one would you rather start messing around with in your software program later. I'm picking on the one on the right every single day of the week and twice on Sunday. So here's another example. So when we run this regular mid-journey result through Gigapixel, if we drop this into Illustrator and live trace it, you know, so we can get a vectorized version of it, we're gonna get a minimal amount of points which results in a cleaner image. And here's the actual image in Illustrator. And you can see if you look close points, there's not a lot of jaggy in there. It's very clean, right? And this drops our prep work in cleaning up and editing and making this file ready for whatever you're doing with that vectorized image much easier. So let's check out using Gigapixel so you can see how much control you have on your image and the final output.
So Gigapixel is software that lives on your computer, just like Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever you're using. And this is the interface. It's pretty bland, right? Until you upload an image. So let's go ahead and get that. So here's our image that we uploaded. So this we created in, of course, Mid Journey. And it's a, it's a Great Dane with some color and some fun stuff. We're gonna use this just to kind of demonstrate all the tools. And so when we look at what we have, let's just start at the top. We have our basic image and then we can choose how large we want to make it. And you could just do double, which is basically what Mid Journey gives you. So I'll use at least 4X, right? And then we can also choose our pixel density. And here I'm choosing 300 DPI. And you can see that my new image is going to be 4096 by 4096. And it's going to be much larger than anything you get from Mid Journey. And I want to show you exactly how you can change some stuff. So we're going to pick, there's a bunch of different modes that you can use, these models. I like to use art and computer graphics, custom graphics. And you can also change the sharpen and the denoise settings. And the ones you use most often, if you click this, it'll always go to that. I like to kind of play around with what I think the image needs. And so here we might want to sharpen it a little more. Uh, I think the denoise is okay. So we'll just go to there. If you've got an image with lots of faces that are tiny in the crowd and you uh, can't tell, you know, does that guy have two eyes or three or whatever, you can hit face recovery and it'll clean those faces up. This is a dog, so we don't need that. So what's really cool is it's already started working. And what I wanna show you is after it gets done, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit, not to the ear, let's get the eyeball going here. Now, every time you move this around, Gigapixel wants to start over with its upscaling. So just give it a second. And it takes a moment to do, so you can see right there in the corner, it upscales it, right? And so what I like is right here, you can have the original, you can have a slider, or you can do a comparison with these little buttons. And what I like, I like using the slider because this is so much fun. So here's the original and here's where we are right now. Do you see how it adds all that detail to what we're doing? And then if you want to know, hey, where are we in the image? Because sometimes you might get lost. They've got this thumbnail right here and you can see this little white rectangle. That's what we're looking at. So you can see as far as the overall part of the larger image, we're only looking at a little chunk and you can see how much better this looks. If we want to, we can zoom in even further. And of course it's gonna wanna upscale that. And you can see here's the original pixels. Here's the new pixels that we're going to upscale. You see how much more detail this adds in, okay? So this is why this is gonna be your new favorite tool. And let's say we're happy with the image and we wanna go ahead and use it. We just click export one image and it gives you some instructions. Where do you wanna put it? We wanna put it in the same folder we had it. We can add a name, we can change some things. I'm not gonna do any of that for right now. And you can see we go from a 2.3 meg file to a 583.6 meg file. We just hit save. This is gonna be a such nicer file to use. So when we bring this into Photoshop or Affinity uh, Photo or well, Corel Draw, whatever you're using, we're gonna have a much nicer image to play with. And that is gonna really help us because we can edit and change things and whatever, but we don't have to worry about trying to add more pixels because we have everything. Now, upscaling takes a minute to do and we're gonna speed this up. Okay, and we're done, right? So we close the window. Let's load up another image real quick. And by the way, it keeps a recent image file images up there that if you wanna see the things you've been working on and you can always clear that out if you want. So here's another image. Let me go ahead and show you the whole thing. 
and this is a flower and you know so you're using this for some type of piece of art or something it doesn't really matter but we want a more detailed look and again we can adjust the sharpness and it's not really doesn't really have a lot of noise so let's tone that down a little bit and you know if you want let's just do the 2x version just to show you the option right and we can upscale it but let's go ahead and bump up just so we can see more detail a little bit once it gets going and as you can see here's the before after doesn't this look much better so what you're getting with gigapixel and this is why you should be using it for mid-journey but also for any other file that your client or somebody gives you it's just much better right in the same way we just hit export we hit save and we're done i don't have to oversell gigapixel as a creative pro you already see the value in this that's going to bring to your daily workflow think of all the crappy logos and images your customers send you all the time now you have a tool to instantly improve them and make them usable the affiliate link to get gigapixel is in the description on this video but there's also a pop-up right here and I would again appreciate the support for this channel by using this link if you actually buy Gigapixel. It's only 99 bucks and you'll love it. So by the way, if you wanna see more advanced techniques like this, the kind of professional workflows that help you charge premium rates, be sure to join the Midjourney Experience School community. We share insider methods that I don't always cover on YouTube videos. We also have a weekly newsletter plus you can get direct access to me for any and all mid-journey questions about your specific projects. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that YouTube notification bell. Anyway, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll check you guys later. See ya.